some interesting patterns in a square number we'll see now so actually I'll, I'll say you some important rules which are related to the square of numbers in some pattern formation so around seven simple topics are explained in this session now for example first one if you see square of a number all we have seen see just now for example 1 plus 3 so this is two are odd numbers so some of the first two odd numbers sum of first two odd numbers now if you add these two odd numbers 1 plus 3 that is equals to 4 there is nothing but 2 square right so I can write like this so I am making some pattern now just observe here now 1 plus 3 plus 5 so this is sum of the three uh, first odd numbers so sum of first three odd numbers now this is 1 plus 3 plus 5 that is equal to 3 square so sum of the first three odd numbers is 3 square there is nothing but equal to 9 so similarly same pattern if you apply 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 so this is sum of the first four odd numbers so if you add this four odd numbers that is nothing but equal to four square you can add this 9 plus 7 16 so now we can generalize formula so we have for every natural number n so it's clearly can say sum of first n odd natural numbers then one pattern we can conclude like this the sum of first n odd natural numbers is equals to n square so need not to count again all the odd numbers so based on this we can write example like this yeah now for example 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 is equals to dash so need not to add now you see just how many odd natural numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so that is nothing but 7 square so even if you add all the sum you will get 49 so sum of the first n odd natural numbers is n square so this is one of the pattern now we will see one more now one pat ok for second I will write one pattern observe here now first for example 4 square minus 3 square that is 16 minus 9 that is equal to 7 so 7 I can write again 4 plus 3 so 5 square minus 4 square that is I can write 25 minus 16 that is equal to 9 so that is nothing but again I can write 5 plus 4 okay similarly can you say 6 square minus 5 square so that is 36 minus 25 because 5 square is 25 and 36 minus 25 is 11 so 11 I can write 6 plus 5 so like this pattern if you continue okay if you take 11 square minus 10 square so that is 121 minus 100 equals to 21 that I can write again 11 plus 10 so apart from numbers now we can general now I will generalize for example n plus 1 whole square minus n square now this we can write first number plus last number so first one is n plus 1 
second one is n now we can generalize this n plus 1 plus n so n plus 1 whole square minus n square is nothing but n plus 1 plus n so this is a generalized form so we can take in the place of n any number right you can write 21 square minus 20 square also is nothing but 21 plus 10 that is 31 and see third one more pattern third one so third is related to the Pythagorean triplet so I'll explain the first Pythagorean triplet so Pythagorean triplet Pythagoras is a great mathematician so he did a Pythagoras theorem so the Pythagoras theorem says in any right angle triangle in any right angle triangle so a right angle triangle is one angle is 90 degrees so in a right angle triangle uh, say a b c so longest side is nothing but a c that is hypotenuse now other two sides I put in I'm taking some small b this takes small c this takes small a then we can write b square is equals to a square plus c square that is hypotenuse square is equals to sum of the squares of other two sides is actually Pythagoras theorem in mean right angle triangle so if you take this is a 5 now which country which numbers will satisfy this for example I am taking 5 this is 4 and it is 3 so 5 square is equals to 3 square plus 4 square you check it now 5 square is 25 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 25 and 25 so 3 comma 4 comma 5 is a Pythagorean triplet so for every natural number now how we can make our own any triplets this is only for exa one example now generalize one formula for Pythagorean triplet for every natural number m is greater than 1 if m is a number is greater than 1 then we have so which three numbers will follow Pythagorean triplet now we can write that is 2m comma m square minus 1 comma m square plus 1 this is a Pythagorean triplet so you can take any number in the place of m which is greater than 1 ok let m is equal to 3 then 2 into 3 3 square minus 1 3 square plus 1 yeah 3 square it is in the place of m which I am keeping so 6 comma 3 square is 9 9 minus 1 is 8 9 plus 1 is 10 so 6 8 10 is a Pythagorean one of the Pythagorean triplet you can check it is high uh, longest value square it means uh, hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides that is 6 square plus 8 square if you simplify you will get a equal in both sides this is 100 36 plus 64 8 square so 100 is equals to 100 therefore 8 6 8 10 is a Pythagorean triplet now this is a generalized formula 2m comma m square minus 1 comma m square plus 1 is a Pythagorean triplet in the place of m whatever number else you can take anything which is greater than 1 we'll make a Pythagorean triplet One, one more pattern now here between two consecutive squares between two consecutive squ squares square numbers say n square and n plus 1 whole square
So between two consecutive square numbers, n square and n plus n square, there are two n non-perfect squares. In between these two, there are two n non-perfect squares. So consecutive I am taking here this is consecutive means just side by side numbers consecutive square numbers so between any two consecutive square numbers there are two n non-perfect squares I will give you an example For example, 3 square and 3 plus 1 whole square. So, in between these two, there are 2 into 3 non-perfect squares. 2 into 3 non-perfect squares. We will check it now. 3 square is 9 and 3 plus 1 whole square is 4 square is 16. So in between 9 and 16 there are 2 into 3. So there are 6 non-perfect squares. Okay, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, these are all 6. Exactly came right. 6 non-perfect squares. In the place of n, we can take any value. Okay, or else if I take 5 square and 6 square, 5 square is 25, 6 square is 36. So 2 into 5, there are 10 non perfect squares in between this. Next, we will see some uh, three identities which is useful. This exercise sums in this. Uh, chapter so using an identity so three identities shall use just nothing but formulas this is one is a plus b whole square that is a square plus 2ab plus b square right and one more rule for identity is a minus b whole square So a square minus 2ab plus b square and one more rule for one more identity is so a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square. So these three identities if you remember we can solve some problems which are related to this in this formula. For example 53 square we need to find out. So you can reduce into 50 plus 3 whole square. So using identities also we can find out the square. 50 plus 3 whole square. So 50 square plus 2 into 50 into 3 plus 3 square. 50 square is 2500 plus 2 into 50 into 3. 2 is 10, 10 is 30. So 300 plus 9. That is 2809. There is 53 whole square. Find similarly a minus b whole square. Okay, if they asked, find out 96 whole square value. So, which is near to 100. 100 minus 4 whole square. So, according to this formula, a square minus 2ab plus b square, you need to write. That is 100 square minus 2 into. 100 into 4 plus 4 square. Right, 100 square is uh, 10,000. Minus 2 into 100 into 4. 800 plus 4 square is 16. So we will subtract this and we will add 16. So we will get 9,216. So we can solve the squares. Finding the squares using this identity also. This third identity, if you observe, now example, we need to find out 49 into 51. So here, 
to find the product of two consecutive odd or two consecutive even numbers. Consecutive odd or consecutive even numbers only will apply. 30 into 32. So either consecutive odd or consecutive even. 49 plus into 51. That is 50 minus 1 into 50 plus 1 with the same number opposite sign. So 50 square minus 1 square using a square minus b square form. So 2500 minus 1 is 2499. Now 30 into 32 also. Similar. This is near to this 31. 31 minus 1 and 31 plus 1. So 31 square minus 1 square. 31 square is 961 minus 1. 960. So this is the finding of squares using these identities. Now up to here we have seen the finding the square root of a perfect square by using prime factorization method. So next I'll explain you and we'll discuss how to find out the square root of perfect square by using a division method.